Nintendo. Guys, the feels. Oh, the feels. Just listen to the music. Just listen. Oh my goodness. Is this game? It's called Animal Crossing. I haven't played this game in forever. In this is Animal Crossing for the treasury, by the way. <clears throat> so here's KK. He's our, he's our lovely friend. So, you've decided to move out. Get your own place? See the world? That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free, it feels great. But living by yourself can be a real drag, too. Still, if you got some real tight friends somewhere nearby, then you know it'll all work out. Yeah, man, friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling, my bad. So, are you ready to hop on that train and go for a ride? Oh, oh, am I ready, KK? Oh, I'm ready for everything. Oh, you'll enjoy your time in Island World of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends to come here, too. Yeah, it would be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. Later! Yeah, except whenever somebody visits, you lose a villager. So, I don't think I'm letting nobody. None of you friends can come. No, 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 no. Don't ask me. Oh, here's our favorite annoying cat. Rover! <clears throat> Excuse me, do you have a second? Could you help me out? It, it is, let's see, 2.24 p.m. on Tuesday, February 25th. That's it, buddy. Say, thanks. You're too kind. Really, you're a big help. <laughs> He's such a smart ass. So, if you mind if I sit here, I promise I won't fall asleep, tumble on you, and start drooling on your shirt. So, if I do please, I'll look good. If I do no way, I'll look like a bum. So, let's do please. We'll be a little nice and a little mean. Thanks again. It sure is nice meeting friendly folks on the train. You aren't a psycho, right? Just kidding. Say, by the way, what's your name? We all know my name. If I remember how to input. Spocky. Listen. Ah, I always love that. Okay, start button. Are you gonna work for me? Oh. 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 Oh my goodness. Well, I guess that's the game, guys. I can't push start. Problem is fixed. Boom. Hmm. Well, mm, Sparky. Now that is an odd name. Hey, be nice. Not that my opinion means much. What matters is, do you like the name Sparky? It's pretty cute, isn't it? I thought it was pretty cute. You're right. Of course. What was I thinking? It's a very cute name for a very cute girl. I uh, I'm sorry. I said it sounded funny. Honestly, I'm not a girl. I forgive you. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, where are you headed? Let's, where should we go, guys? Let's go across the rainbow. See the leprechauns. That's right, we're gonna go across the rainbow and see the freaking leprechauns. You're going to rainbow? Oh, I should have wrote across. Anyway, hey, I know that place. Rainbow is one of my favorite vacation spots. What? No, rainbow only comes once a year at 3 p.m in the front of a giant freaking tree. So don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. So, what are you gonna do for Rainbow Fork? What are you gonna Rainbow Fork? Well, what's it to you? Jeez, no, fine. Don't tell me. Be like that. I don't care. I know you're moving, though. I can see it in your eyes. You're an A! You're a big, fat jerk! So, where are you gonna be living, huh? Uh, leave me alone, you jerk! D don't tell me. You haven't found a place to live yet. <laughs> of course you have. Oh, what? You haven't? You can't just show up with no place to live. We'd better find you a pad. Fast. I'm a jerk to you, and you want to find me a house. I like this universe. Can I go there? Please? I'd like to live in this area. Sounds like there's pretty nice people here. Old nice talking cats, anyway. Oh, he walked off. 
Where'd you go? I thought you were helping. Boop, 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 boop. Hey there, Nook. It's me. So, what's the good word? You ranking in cash? Uh huh. Yep. Ooh, that's rough. Brutal. Well, it's a crazy world. Anyway, as I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to Rainbow. That's right. 3 p.m. Approximately. Oh, yeah, completely. But the poor thing still hasn't found a place to live. It's sort of a test spot. The kid's name? Why? Oh, it's Sparky. Uh, yeah, yeah, today. So, think you can help out? Oh, oh, really? Uh, I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll pass the word on. So, we'll catch up later, right? Thanks a lot. See ya. Look, my man. Bye. Sweet. It's good to be jerked to cat talking cats. Just remember that the next time you approach a talking cat, be a little nice at the beginning, but then be a complete jerk. Okay, I'm back. Miss me? Well, good news for you. It sounds like my buddy has some brand new houses for sale. Dirt cheap. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. He wants to loan them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then you'll be fine. Wow, brand new house, nothing like it in the world. Maybe I'll move in too. No, Rover, you just stay on the train, it's okay. Oh, looks like we're about to pull in a rainbow, man. I love this place. Anyway, maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. Bye, good luck. Thanks, dude, you're friggin' sweet. Finding me a house and stuff. Oh my gosh, monkeys are driving the train. I am surprised we safely made it to rainbow at 3 p.m. Oh, it's actually almost 3, it's 2.30. Wow, I didn't even... Hey, I'm pretty! Rainbow, now arriving at Rainbow. Welcome to Rainbow, watch your step. Oh my gosh! Oh, the feels! Excuse me, hey, 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 you there, yes, you. Oh, guys, I'm gonna have a nerdgasm. Oh, what's your name happen to be? Sparky? Good, good. It's just now had a phone call about you, hmm? Woo, I'm glad I made it here in time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best shape of my life. But I ramble. My name is Tom Nook. I uh, run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you. Yeah, you're greedy and a jerk, and I have to do errands for you, and then you sell stuff to me at a very high price, and you think it's cheap. You're you're mean. Mean. Look, now he's laughing at me. What a jerk. Just give me the house already. Darn it. So we get to pick out of one of four houses, right? I think so. I remember. I remember this stuff. I mean, I used to play this game every day as a kid. Even on my birthday, because they have, like, special events on holidays. So it's freaking sweet. Here we are. Not too shabby. I can most heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside. Really, I don't mind. Not in the least. After all, the doors have don't have any locks. Oh, that's comforting. You're gonna put me in a house that does not have a lock. Let's choose this red one because red is beautiful. Take a good look inside, it, please. Bear in mind that it's a little how you say cozy. Yeah, cozy. Let's go look in the pretty house. Let's choose this one because it's red and I have flooring of stone, and I can smash my face into the wall. Okay. We have decided, my friends. We are going to choose the red house on the prairie. Well, what do you think? How was it, hmm? I like it. You're quite sure this is the one you want. Here is good. Very well, it's decided then. That house now belongs to you, Sparky. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. I'll tell you what. I'll even throw in a radio in there. No extra charge. I can never sell those things anyway. Now let me see. I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house. Okay. This is where I do not accept all of your talking. As I said, you're an old game. We all know how to play you, no matter how old you are or young. Because we've all played Animal Crossing. Right, guys? Right, you have all played Animal Crossing. And if you have not, you go out right now and you purchase the GameCube version because the DS ones are crap. You purchase the GameCube version and you sit your butt on your couch after you insert the disc and plug your old GameCube in and turn the TV on and all that other jazz. And then you sit your butt on the couch and you push. Oh, you have to get up again though because you gotta turn the GameCube on because it has a button, you know? Unlike like the PlayStation, the Xbox, you actually have to turn it on with your finger. After you do that, then you can sit down. But if you're hungry, you better go grab some chips and maybe some dip. A piece of string cheese and maybe a Capri Sun. Then you can sit down. Then after you sit down, you will push start. And you will start this amazing game and you'll be stuck on it forever because I put super glue on your butt. So, yeah. I just... Yeah. 
Hey, he's still talking. I thought we'd be done by now. <laughs> eh, Tom Nook, you are such an old fart talking a lot and stuff. Oh, look, he's done. Yay, and I didn't forget anything because I've only played the beginning. Um, no, don't tell me. I've only played the beginning a hundred times. Hundreds. Now, the rest of the game is pretty simple. I have to say. With these! Now, it's really fun when you play. Oh, I only have a thousand bells. But it's really fun when you play with other people. Yes, that would be. Not nearly enough! You only have a thousand bells? You're joking with me, yes? Why? You're so short I can't help but laugh. <laughs> you know what happens to people who don't have money, don't you? I'll tell you. They can't buy a house. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm. A thorny situation. Yes, rather thorny. He's got an idea, guys! Then here's what we'll do. You can work part-time at my shop to pay off the rest. Yes, that's acceptable. Splendid, we're all set. This will work wonderfully. Or I can work the corner and make the money that way. Thank you. You can find my shop in Acre A5. You can't miss it. At least most people can't miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station. I'm heading back there now, so I'll be waiting for you. And ask you to be quick about it coming, yes? Oh, more feels, guys. More feels. This is wonderful. This is so wonderful. Let's check the map and see what we got. Wow, look at all the people. And there's the post office, and the dump, and the shop, and more peoples, and the museum. Oh! Oh, yeah! This is the perfect, and we have peaches! Peaches on my trees! I like peaches on my trees. Alright, here's Nook's Cranny. Let's go in here. Well, finally you arrived. What took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Only kidding. Oh, look at that giant watermelon! Look at it! I just went to bite it. Well, not the outside. The outside's nasty. You must know. I suppose I'd call it a uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing. Don't look at me, you pervert. You stay right there. Right there. Oh, yeah. Fresh clothes. I haven't changed in weeks. That's better, yes. You look like you were born to wear that uniform because technically my data says I was. Holy crap, I still owe 18,000? 18,000 bells. I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around the shop. I remember I hated this one. This was the worst part of them all because you just have to plant the flowers. Just to plant them. You can't do nothing else with them. You just plant the darn flowers. Let's make it look beautiful. How do I do this? Plant. Oh my goodness. Plant. Let's plant this one. All a red tulip, it's beautiful! <gasps> Blue cosmos. Oh, we got to make a match. Oh, yes. Plant the flowers. Oh, the white ones. The white ones are perfect. Oh my gosh. You could not ask for a better servant. No, no, no. Now let's plant the rest of them down here. Oh my god! You are beautifully gorgeous, my friend. You are beautiful. What's wrong with you? You're not wasting your whole afternoon chatting with strangers. Busy strangers. Can't you see I've got work to do, Agnes? Sorry, I overreacted a little sometimes. Agnes, I'm not really busy at all. Besides, maybe you were destined to meet today. Maybe you're supposed to be friends. I'm Caesar. Maybe I'll see you around town, Agnes. <laughs> This is gonna be so fun to give them different voices. Alright, I'm back, Nook. What do you want? So, did you make it look nice? I thought it looked pretty good. I thought it did. <laughs> good, because it probably doesn't look as great as you thought. After all, I'm not the one who will get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. Yeah, because it's your shop and they're not gonna know who I am, so... Let's call that 80 bells. Wow, this is gonna take forever, guys! Now, what should I have you do next? Wait, just a moment. Something just struck me. Spark me. You shouldn't... You just moved to Rainbow. Let's go meet everybody! Yay! Now give me a map. The mayor... Wonder another wishing well. He's a turtle, by the way, guys. Not to, not to spoil it or anything, but he's a turtle. Well, we met, we met Caesar, our friendly monkey, who wasn't that friendly in the beginning. Wasn't there somebody else down here? 
Oh my goodness, we don't have a shovel. Or we could get rich. If you plant trees in those areas, then you make mo No, if you plant money in the sparkly areas, it makes trees. So biscuits right there. Patty, Axel, and Kitty. And then if you go down, Emerald. So let's go to these two first. And then I kind of forgot where the rest of them were. Hey, where are they? Weren't they right next to my house? Look, I am lost now, but listen to the beautiful music. Oh I just want to cry because it feels so good. Kitty's house. I can't hear you perfectly well without you raising your voice like that. But regardless, you say you're Sparky. <laughs> oh, what a childish name. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Kitty. Well, aren't you going to tell me how lovely my name is? Wow, conceited much? You know, there may be hope for you yet. Meow. Get out of my face. Oh, oh my gosh, a ball. Ball. And that's the post office. Run, there's too much love rivalry around the post office. Oh, you're beautiful. Axel. Hey, good afternoon. I haven't seen you around here before, have I? Wonk. I'm Axel. What about you? What's your name? Right, I gotcha. Sparky, huh? Okay, Sparky, let's be pals. If the others give you any trouble, come talk to me. You're the nicest person I've talked to. You're so sweet. Thank you, Axel. Axel, Kitty, and Caesar. They're all jerk faces. Alright, now I forgot where everybody else was. So we have Biscuit, right? Biscuit, Emerald, and then the Wishing Well. We got this. We are so good. I remember I used to play this. It used to take me like three days to do the just the first part of the mission thing. That's how crappy I suck at, I suck at video games. I'm just saying. Alright, who are you? Oh, it's a blind dog. We need to get him a icing dog. What? What? What is it? Don't scare me like that. Sheesh, I don't even know you. Do you just go around scaring total strangers? That's mean, dog. A biscuit. Nice to meet you, but next time don't scare me like that. Sparky? Okay. I'll try. Just get... There's another house over here somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. Is this the wishing well? Ah, there's our old man turtle. Tortimer! Who are you? Yo, whoop snap. Tell me something. Who do you respect the most? Let's do my grandpa to impress him. Well now, have you wise and old looks inspired respect? You may be young, but you have a keen eye. Tell me, what's your name? Sparky, well that's nice, it's different. Your parents must be proud. My name's Jordimer, I happen to be the mayor here in Rainbow. Quite the big job. You seem like a decent snort. Sounds like a decent snort. Whenever there's a holiday or an event going on in town, why don't you come see me? I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on, Yipper. I surely will. <laughs> cool, we just have one more, and that was whoever's over here. In the purple house. Emerald, right? Oh, what a beautiful house. Good afternoon. No, I don't think we've met before. You're new in town. I don't know what voice to give this one. I'm happy to make your acquaintance. Boing. I'm Emerald. I hope we can be really good friends. Awesome. So we only have a few jerks in town. Not all of them aren't that bad. All right, let's go talk to what's his face, Mr. Nook. Tell him that we're done with our duties. Duties. Huh? You say you've met everybody in town? Well, aren't you social butterfly? Perhaps though, you were not quite thorough. So now I think you may have missed somebody. Be sure to greet everyone in town, including the mayor. What? What? No way. No way. No. Who did I miss? No. No, I am done with this. I don't even want to look at the map. I refuse. Darn it. 